Hey guys, Nova Explosion. Welcome back to more Monster Hunter Stories 2. We're back. We're gonna try and finish the game today. Uh, we're gonna see what we can do with that. Um, Wildcat's here as always. Yes, we... The, hopefully this will be the finale. If not, we're gonna get super duper close. Um, last time we left off, uh, we finished up the Volcano region. Um, fought Nerd Gigante and learned that he was playing a giant game of Whack-A-Mole with that worm thing that we now know it's called Ultura, and uh, now we're going to be moving on to figure out how to bring Ultura down. Yeah, so as you can see on my screen, I have the Humble Elder Dragon Egg, which is most definitely the Nergigante Egg. So I'm going to go yep. hatch that to start- oh, never mind, I'm going to get thrust into a cutscene. <laughs> ah, here they are. Kyle! Tsukino! Come on, Kyle. What are you two doing here? After we parted, we conducted our own inquiries into the pits. We got some useful intel from some hunters. Right? Kyle? This is such a weird little village. Trying to get anyone to talk to us was like getting blood from a stone. Once we told them we were with you, however, they were a lot more cooperative. Yeah, they're like that around here. But things are bound to change. Yes. Just like how Ruto changed. Okay, whatever. Now that we're all here, let me tell you what we found out. The Rathalos that disappeared were sighted flying in the direction of that strange light. Are you sure? More than one hunter saw it happen. But nobody seems to have any idea what it might mean, though. Guardian Ratha followed the light as well. Maybe there's some connection between Rathalos and Ultura. Ultura? What's that? It's the monster at the bottom of the pits. Oh. Huh? What? There's something living down there? That's not all. We had the legend about Ratha all topsy-turvy. It's Ultura that brings ruin. We gotta yank it out of the pits and defeat it somehow before it's too late. But we have no way of telling where it will appear next. Hmm. There's more. The light shining from the pits is starting to change color. Huh? Why would that happen? I don't know. That's why we need to get to the scene. Let's look at the pits again. We might find a clue about where Altura's headed next. Good idea. Let's go. Oh right, yeah, then welcome to stream. I don't think I said hello to you. We investigate the pits, but where would we even go? We got confirmation of three new pits that have appeared. One on the Harzgay, Harzgai Rocky Hill in Alcala, another in the Loloska Rocky Canyon. The third is in Jalma Highlands of the West Lamore Desert. Oh, so we're going back to previous areas. Okay. You should investigate all three of them. We'll come with you too. Alright, nice traveling with you again, Kyle. Let's go, partner. I'd rather be traveling with the Veneer Roberto, but whatever. The bringer of Calamity's true identity is uncovered. A simple song connects with the legend the monument depicts. Razoring Ratha will swoop down from the sky in a blaze of fire to stop Ultora's rampage as it emerges from the earth. The truth has finally been revealed. Yeah, this definitely feels like a penultimate mission, if not. Yeah, no, it, 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 it's all coming together. There he is, Nergi Gante. The boy. I think I'm gonna Look. add him and see if we can get some levels with him. Because I do like its design. Quite a bit. Oh, you got a harmony gene on there too. Nice. Might as well keep you guys exploring. Way off topic, but are you streaming this weekend? 
I might stream tomorrow. I'm still not sure. Saturday's definitely not. And then Sunday, maybe. I'm not sure yet. Probably. Just look out for Twitter and Discord, and I will confirm or not. I assume that, like, you still have school tomorrow. Because I don't have work tomorrow. I mean, yeah, but that's, like... I have school, but even if I have school, I still stream, but, like, um, some other stuff. I mean, this weekend, I might be, uh, going away for a little something, so I don't know. I'm definitely gonna be away on Saturday, but I'm not sure if I'll be back on Sunday. What's your sub-quest? Yeah, okay. Wonderful. Thank you. All right, well, honestly, I'm just gonna go to the quest board, see if we can report stuff. If not, then we could just start tackling the pits. So that subquest that you just accepted, it's basically gonna be just showing that guy a bunch of different monsters that you have in your stable. And you're gonna wanna do that one all the way through. It's gonna give you a good amount of XP. It's just kind of tedious because you're going back and honestly, forth. Honestly, I might do it because I do want to level up Nergigante a little bit and maybe some later ones. But not only that, when you finish that subquest, it gives you a very important hunting horn skill for post-game that you, like, need to have. So that's the other reason why you should do it right now before you forget. <laughs> Neat. Okay. I'm just gonna go do a pit, honestly. Cave into the pits high up on the cliff. You got it. All right, right up there. Oh, what caught me? Oh, a Basarius. Goodbye. The good thing is we can quick finish all of these because this is like the second area. Yeah, you might be able to quick finish stuff in the desert by now, but probably sure. we should definitely be able to quick finish stuff in Lilosca. Is there like a calculation, like a level range you have to be? Yeah, there is. Um, I I know it for like the higher end stuff. I don't know it for main story stuff because it's never an issue for me. Yeah, it would make sense if there was like some kind of level difference. That was at play. Yeah, because like most of the documentation that I'm seeing is like minimum, like when you're around level 60, because that's like, oh, I need to level up quickly and hard. So I don't know what it is like before that. Because I just got to the point where I can quick finish in like the best area. Owen, it's so good to see you again. Yes, it's been far too long, Enna. It looks like you're all doing well. You and Ratha have been in my thoughts since you left. You don't know the half of it. The Scrivener snatched him, and we fought off a bunch of weirdos. It's been a rough ride. In the end, it was Ratha who saved us. He can fly now and everything. I saw. He's come a long way from that awkward little newborn who hatched not so long ago. Alwyn, we came back to investigate the pits further. I see. The light coming out of the pits has changed lately. The villagers worry it might be a portent of disaster. The pits aren't a natural phenomenon. Just as Red said, there's a monster lurking deep inside them. Yes, the Elder himself said Red was right about it. When Zellard heard that, he took it upon himself to investigate the pits at once. I see. Who are your companions? This is Kyle and his palico Tsukino. Kyle's a hunter. They're helping us look into the pits. Salutations. <clears throat> You're not going to shake her paw? I, um, I'll have to pass this time, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. The pit is just ahead this way. I would like to accompany you myself, but... Well, I'll be there. 
You feel confident with his support? Ah, you have the power of kinship on your side. All right, so I guess we're going to run into all of them again. You're a Rage Raid Palamu. Okay, everything here is Rage Raid. Yeah, everything everything's Rage Raid because of like what's going on. Which I think I don't know if it is true because this was true when you had like a similar thing happening in, happening in the first game. Um, but I think you might get like better item drops if you do defeat them. But it doesn't like matter. You're almost done with the game anyway. Yeah, I don't want to like I don't want to speed run the game. Like I don't want to be like oh I'm, I have to finish this game in a speed run. But I'm definitely like not gonna do like every single fight. <laughs> I, I there's no need for you. To. Like, it's really just the boss fight at this point, and I mean, like, maybe if you want to go back and, like, fight some of the monsters that you have fought at all. Oh yeah, so I know um, neither of us are really like playing Pokemon, like new Pokemon games at all anymore. But did you watch the Scarlet and Violet trailer this week? I have not, no. I heard about the leaks, but I haven't actually seen them and I didn't watch the trailer. Because I didn't see the leak, but I watched the snippet of the trailer because people said Dawn fan and I love Dawn fan. So I guess Dawn fans getting like two branching evolutions. Oh, that's neat. One of them looks terrible. Oh, well, <laughs> that's just Pokemon nowadays where they make pretty terrible designs. Well, it's like, so I guess they're doing like, like a past and a future thing. So I guess like Scarlet's supposed to be like the past one and Violet's supposed to be like the future one. So like, the violet stuff is like a bit more like mechanized and like techno and things. So basically they made like a robot Dawn fan that has like one of those like electrical screen faces where the mouth is. That sounds awful. Looks... The the past Dawn fan looks really cool. It's basically just normal Dawn fan with more spikes and bigger cuts. But and I'm like, yeah, that looks really cool and it I probably like the design more than regular Dawn fan, but it's not different enough for me to buy a game just for that one design. Very true. Yeah, I haven't been, like, keeping up with info on those games, mostly just because I don't really care. Yeah, I have. Uh, it's the same thing for me, but I do talk with Flygon a lot, and Flygon, uh, he, he's going to get him. All right, how much XP is this going to give me? Because I am doing this for Nuka Gante. All right, and decent like, amount. Yeah, and, and also Nuka Gante gets like that 500% XP because he's like a considerably lower level. And um and one of the things is that Nuka Gante, even though he's an Elder Dragon, he does, he does have a fast growth rate. So even if he's a little bit under leveled, he's still gonna be hitting pretty hard at low, level, which isn't true for the other health dragon. stones. Nice. 
Yeah, my mentality with Pokemon is like, I did play Arceus and I didn't hate the game. They were like fine to maybe even good, but I would say more like fine. It definitely wasn't enough to, for me to be like, yeah, Pokemon's back and I want to start buying the games again. Yeah, I didn't even finish Legends. I played like two, three hours and then I was just like, yeah, I don't really care anymore. Like, like I, I have a bunch of other games that I was like more interested in. So I'll probably like finish it at some point because it wasn't bad. But I was just like, yeah, I need to I need to get ready for Sunbreak. And I think that's more important. Yeah, also there's the fact that like, even if I did want to play them, I just don't have time in my schedule yeah. to fit them. Nor do I really, really want to make time for them. Right. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll always go back and play the DS one, but the the newer ones, honestly, since, like, X and Y. I would I'm, really, I actually would like to go back and play Heart Gold again. That'd be fun. Just for nostalgia's sake, nothing else. Would you do it on an emulator? Yeah, you don't have a capture card, so you'd have to do Yeah, it. I'd have to do it on a DS emulator. But... My recommendation is figure out how to um, put in 999 rare candies, uh, just so that way you don't have to <laughs> worry about the terrible level curve in that game and use what you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's true. I, lo I love the game, I really do, but that is a big problem with Heart Gold Still Silver. Yeah, it's not great. I, I think that I didn't care about it as much when I first played it because it was like the new Pokemon game. So I was like, yeah, I want to sink a ton of hours into it. But now, not great. Intel spotted, Kyle. Scratch marks. It's still warm. The monster must be close. Mm. Huh? Huh? <laughs> 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 it's Rage Raid! Yo, who is this? You likey? I do, actually. Yeah, so this is my favorite Brute Wyvern. Uh, this is Glavinus. Um, he is the flagship of Monster Hunter Generation. Um, and, like, the head of the Faded Four. So, uh, you've already seen Mizutune and Astalos. Uh, so he's kind of the, the main one of that group. Uh, but yeah, he's uh, he's basically a Carnotaurus with a like a flame plasma sword for a tail. I very much like this design. It's really good. I love Glav. So after you beat this fight, guess what egg is on? The yeah, I'm, I, at this point, I'm kind of assuming every boss we fight, we get the egg of. Yeah, that's uh, not the case. I'll tell you that right now. I won't tell you who, but that's not. The case. All right, well, as long as I can get this thing, that's really all I need. Yeah. And there is a super version of Glavinus in the post game too. We can look forward to that. All right, the head is with the sword. Fully noted. Good cold blast, good cold blast.
Oh, beatable charge slash damage. Yeah, you got this, Kyle. You got burned, but that's fine. Okay, that's interesting. I figured that you would switch during the fireball charge. Keep getting that head. So the thing with Glavinus, um, and this is just something that comes with having fought him in other games, um, but Glavinus' tail is extremely hard, um, you know, the main way that he attacks, but when he heats it up, it becomes more vulnerable. So you want to you wanna strike the tail while it's hot. I'm not sure, but either way, I'm going to use a Vital Essence. Okay, now you're still in speed phase. Flame Chakram. Oh, I did a lot. Luckily, you're still alive, though. Yeah, that's the nice thing about Legiana is that he's not weak to fire. Because <laughs> most ice types are. I wonder if that resets your face. Maybe it does. Okay, no, it puts you at technical. Oh my word, okay. You can do it. A little scary here.
Well, I have no idea what you're gonna do here. If he's gone through all phases and he did a big boom attack, you can usually predict that he that that resets the whole, whole pack. Double speed here, nice. Okay, and this is when you switch to speed. Arietta, I would not want them to change Pokemon combat system. I don't think that they would come up with a good alternative. And the battle system already has a lot of depth, it's just that they don't use it effectively. So I would rather see them use the existing battle system more effectively than they currently are. Yeah, I don't think turn bay I don't think like the turn base battle system is the problem with Pokemon at all. I would agree. Yeah. Like my big thing is I think that the the way that they've structured it is they give too much emphasis on the type system rather than other gameplay elements that exist so a lot of people don't know that those other elements exist and can be effective as a battle strategy yeah i can agree with that because like like think about it like the people that never played competitive or like never did a nuzlocke like they probably think normal types are garbage and normal types are actually really good because, yeah, they're not super effective against anything, but they do neutral damage to just about anything. So if you've got a powerful normal type and powerful move, they can hit just about anything for a lot of time. Oh, if that burn didn't happen, I wouldn't have lost there. That's so upsetting. Yeah, so the thing with Glav is when he does the fireball charge, you want to start targeting the tail. Because uh, that means that the tail's heated up, and if you can break the tail, you'll knock him over. You know what, I'm gonna buy this because we're gonna go to L Loska eventually. Literally, the burn is what cost me there. Yeah, I know. That's so annoying when you, like, you're like, oh, I live the attack, and then you, like, realize you're burned or you're poisoned. You're like, no! That happened to me last week when I was fighting a gold raffian. <laughs> you're pretty strong. 